Hello and welcome. My name is Kyle Fridman and welcome back to another episode of Road to Level 1000 here within Black Ops 4. Today, we are going to be getting to level 696, which should be very, very awesome, which means that we are getting very, very close to level 700, which, fun fact for you guys, is my favorite. Well, it's the rank that I've been most excited to get to because if I go over here to the prestige icons, I like all of the 7th presti prestige icons the best. So the Black Ops 1 7th prestige and the Black Ops 2 7th prestige are both my favorite in Call of Duty history. So definitely I'm excited to get to the get to level 700. So we should actually get to that next week, which is pretty crazy. So very, very exciting there. And today we're going to be playing more stockpile rocking out with the Maddox. We are very, very close to getting that weapon leveled all the way up. I think all we have to do is get it to level... If you get it to level 14, I believe. No, level 13. So we're, we're pretty close. And I actually haven't had the... the Maddox RFB Mark II equipped for most of these past videos, which is why it's taken so long. Uh, but once we have that done, which will probably be by gameplay number two, you will rock out with the swordfish and try and get that to level or get that all the way leveled up. And I think we only have to do one more level with that. Or never mind, we have a few more. Uh, but anyways, we're going to go ahead and jump into the games now. And I'll see you guys all when we are getting to the level 695 game. I guess welcome into the game. We are playing some stockpile here on Firing Range Night. And look at this lobby. <laughs> look at this beautiful lobby. Now we will 1000% rank up this game. So I'm going to try and make it as good as possible. I have the gunship on because I'm crazy. We've taken the lead. But I Oh my gosh, is he just sitting there? But I saw this lobby and I was like, "Hey, we'll go for it." Could be pretty fun. Beautiful. Okay, we need to get out of here. Run, 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 run. Now we can go back, now that we have full health. The deposit location has moved. Smoked. It's kind of a little bit inconvenient, but that's okay. Okay, we gotta be careful. Just because... Oh, she's already got an attack chopper. Holy. That early death we had was kind of bad. Okay. There we go. Perfect. Okay, now I'm just worried if that they're not going to stay in the game. Wow, dude, the streaks. My teammate's streaks are just going in. Like in every way. Just scrounging up dog tags. Nope, that's mine. Jeez, this is kind of destruction. I'm not going to lie. There it is. Gunship awaiting orders. There's the gunship, and we died just as we get it. That kind of sucks a little bit, but it's alright because we got it. Now let's get this thing in. Deposit point has moved. Let's get her in. The highest streak in Black Ops 4. I just... Every time we do one of these episodes, I just rive and rave about how good the streaks are and how much I miss this game. And just 
how just... Like, if you really think about it, this might genuinely be the last Call of Duty game where you could actually pub stomp. Like, this is Black Ops 1 matchmaking here. Like, full on Black Ops 1 matchmaking. Okay, I'm not going to call in my Hellstorm yet. Because. My teammate has that attack chopper, and I want to try and complete the challenge. Or the... Like, j just look at the streaks, dude. My streaks were going in. My teammate's streaks were going in. It's just unreal. Full, to Actually, I do need to call this in now. This game's about to end. Got no kills with it. That's okay. Look at the streaks. Okay. We might overlap a sniper's nest here. Nope, never mind. See you later. Oh, I have all 10. But if I... If I put them in, the game will end. Oh... My goodness, man. This is just annihilation. At its finest. Like, what the heck? Come back here. See you later. No, we almost got two gunships. That is such an unfortunate death, man. But I didn't want the game to end. Oh my goodness. I miss... I miss matchmaking like this. It is just not in Call of Duty anymore. And never and probably never will be. And there we go, guys. 51 and 3. That was actually insane. Again, I know we weren't playing against the world's greatest players or anything like that, but that was just so much fun. Again, I miss it. I miss where you know, and then who knows? Next game there might be a lot of really good players you just never really know but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed game number one getting us to level 695 and i'll see you guys all in two seconds for game number two where we'll get to level 696 all right guys welcome into game number two we are playing some stockpile here on seaside sunset hopefully we can do well now we're in the same lobby that we were in the first game but i decided that i was going to mix it up and use a different weapon because well, we've been using the we've been using the Maddox for a ton of episodes, and I wanted to mix it up and use something different for game number two. So you guys aren't just seeing me sweat with the Maddox every game, even though it's not really sweating because you know we're ranking it up, we're leveling it up. So like I don't need to use the Maddox to do well or anything like that. Just I'm ranking it up, but I wanted to mix it up a little bit because that's always the that's the way that I have fun in Call of Duty. And if I just posted Maddox gameplay 24/7, that's pretty boring. So I probably should have lowered my streaks a little bit. We managed to get the gunship, which was awesome. But The competition might be a little bit 
more difficult in this game, so. Ooh. Nice try. But I unfortunately died too. That's unfortunate. Okay, if she deposit... Ooh. She deposited in a lot of tags there. That's not really the best thing. What? I kind of wish it was... A wow, this player is very sweaty. Just watch this kill cam. It's pretty obvious. Enemy UAV above. But players will sweat. And it's fine. Let's go. And that is why I always use flak jacket whenever I play this game. Perfect. There's another guy down. Let's be careful. Run! I'm 1 HP. I'm literal 1 HP. Okay. And then this guy had to come in and ruin my ruin my day. 12 and 5, that's not terrible. That's really not good either. Really not good. Didn't work out too well. At least we got this. We have the advantage. The deposit location has moved. Nope. Let's nice try, buddy. This is my most used specialist in the game. I know. Control. I know how to use the flamethrower, and then of course we died by the sweat. Of course we did. Of course. At this rate, we might not even rank up this game. Enemy UAV above. Who just keep finding ways to die, unfortunately. I'm gonna get surrounded. That sucks. That sucks. The deposit location has moved. Well, now Tracking she's got streaks. Of course. The sweatiest player in the game, of course, has streaks. Now I have a ton. Open. Dang it. Well, at least I can destroy the sniper's nest. Oh, but I missed it. I should have just gone for kills. That was dumb. Yeah, 
right now my teammates have started to rage quit. Oh well. It happens. Where'd you go? Crap, I got surrounded. So unlucky. Again, I don't... I don't think we'll rank up this game. Well, hello. No, gosh darn it, man. I managed to get a 10, which is pretty crazy, but... We died. Before we could get streaks. 29, 12. We're not. We're still not doing terrible. It's looking pretty good that we're gonna likely rank up here. So we need to really set this gameplay up here. Like, oh my gosh, man. The amount of times that we almost got streaks but just died is unfortunate. Hostile UAV circling. What? Utilizing Dude, come on. Your deposit location has moved. No medals for second place. Get to work. Our attack deploy beacon is offline. That kill. Perfect. Look out. Time's almost up. Make that push. Are you serious? Oh my gosh. I'm gonna try and get no XP at the end of this game. So I don't break that. This match bonus levels me up. We'll see though. Oh my gosh. We did level up by the gosh darn match bonus. I was not expecting that to happen, but well, as the rules go in the series, if I rank up, just look at this player. It almost makes me sick how they play. Like, not like in, in a oh my gosh way, but in a, like a physical way. Like, it's just as dizzying sometimes to watch these guys try that hard in, in a video game. But anyways, the rules are the rules and unfortunately i have to show you guys a mediocre second gameplay but luckily the first gameplay was really really good and i was able to get the gunship and everything like that which is very very awesome anyways but we still got managed to get above a 2kd so i guess it's okay but you know you guys know the drill in black ops 4 in particular if i don't get above a 2 or a 3 i'm not super happy but anyways again it's the rules of the series and i want to try and keep them keep them as much as possible but anyways i really hope you guys enjoyed another episode of road to level 1000 here within black ops 4 had a really really great time today i really love the stockpile mode and hopefully it's in the game for quite a while because i'm gonna continue to play it until it's gone so 
which is very, very cool. But anyways, if you guys did enjoy this next episode, like, and also please go check out the previous episode from earlier this week. It will be linked down below as well. It will also be at the end of the video. Check out as well. So guys, all on another Call of Duty or Fortnite video very, very soon.